Scripture reading is taken from 2 Samuel 23, verse 3. The God of Israel spoke. The rock of Israel said to me, When one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in fear of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good day, fellow believers. Today is the 16th of June. And it's a very special day for my family and I. It is the birthday of my late mom. It would have been a six, 86th birthday. And it is also the birthday of my two nieces. I would like to reread or just read additional verses of Second Samuel 23, just to provide a little more context. So starting from... Verse 3, the Lord of Israel spoke. The rock of Israel said to me, when one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, he is like the light of morning at sunrise on a cloudless morning, like the brightness after rain that brings grass from the earth. If my house were not right with God, Surely you would not have made with me an everlasting covenant, arranged and secured in every part. Surely you would not bring to fruition my salvation and grant me my every desire. So, just providing more context to verse 3, uh, reading the rest of the verse, the whole chapter started making more sense to me. One is that so 2 Samuel 23 specifically talks to David's reflection, basically his last words, of how God, the rock of, of Israel, instructs him on how to rule as a future king. One who should rule over his people in righteousness, morally, morally right and justifiable, and to rule in the fear of God. 
Today I think of my parents who ruled their kingdom, that is their household, and how we, Fern and I, as parents, rule our kingdom, our household, with God at the center of our household. We were taught to make all decisions based on what is morally right, and not only for our family, but for those around us as well. We were also taught how not to rule with fear, but rather to be God-fearing and to be ruling in the fear of God, knowing God's awesomeness, His power, and above all, God's love. Understanding the verse, we have lived and still live our lives and our household under the guidance of God. Ultimately, it comes down to the guidance provided by God as to how we would rule our households in the same way that God provided guidance to David. On the gravestone of my late mom and dad, the text written on their gravestone is the last part of Psalm 23. I and my house shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Second Samuel 23 reminds me that my parents instilled the guidance handed down by God and that Fern and I are still able to do the same and that our household will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It is my prayer that we all live under God's guidance on a daily basis, as per 2 Samuel 23, and that it will be passed on from one generation to the next, as has been done in my family. In closing, I'd also like to pray and wish that this is be the same for our country as a whole and our continent. And it reminds me of a prayer we were taught at school. God bless Africa, guide her children, guide her leaders, and give her peace. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Let us pray. Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in one. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valleys, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.